ChatGPT's new agent builder is basically an NAN killer and it's going to replace actually a lot of AI automation tools. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to use it and it's surprisingly easy to use. You don't need any coding experience whatsoever. So let's jump straight into it. To get started, I've linked the website below, but basically you're coming to platform.openai.com forward slash agent dash builder. And on the left here, you can see agent builder. Now you can see here it's given uh, you some templates, but don't worry about these. We're going to create a custom one just so I can show you exactly how it works and why it's useful. You can see here on the left a start node and automatically it's added an agent. Now you can add any of these nodes. You can add as many agents as you want, file search, guardrails, and we'll talk about some of this other stuff uh, later. But a lot of this you don't really need to uh, worry about for basic workflows, basic tasks. So first thing we're going to do is program this agent. So if we click on it, we can create a name for it first, which is handy. For this example, I'm going to try and create an agent that can analyze what's trending on a particular day, for example, when it comes to the world of cryptocurrency, and then to try and tell me which cryptocurrency is breaking out right now as we speak, because I don't want to hear it from third party on social media and stuff like that, but sometimes it, that could be a really late signal. So let's say I'm just doing this for myself and I want to research. This will save me a lot of time and it will automatically search the web picking up anywhere where there's uh, kind of uh, trending information. So the first agent is going to be general crypto research. And then what you can do in the instructions is you can add the prompt here. So let's go ahead and do that now. Please conduct thorough web research and try and find all of the trending coins of today in the world of cryptocurrency. They can be on any blockchain or on uh, any exchange. It doesn't matter. Just prepare them in a summarized list. So I've put that all in there and then here the model, there are lots of different models even within ChatGPT. Obviously you've got GPT-5 which is the latest, but we want to use 4.1. The reason for that is we want it to do a web search. The newer ones won't do a web search and they'll be limited in terms of model timing and data. So if you click on plus tools here, all you have to do is add the tool web search. So I've added that. You don't really need to change anything here. So you could just click add. So that's done now. And output format we want it to be text, but obviously you can change this. There is an option to change it into widget. So just to show you what that's like, if you click on widget, click on plus icon here and create and go to gallery. It already has built in widgets that you can uh, potentially use. Now, this is not appropriate for our example, but if you wanted to, you can mess about with these and you can even create your own. Click on new widget, describe it, and it will create it for you. So literally it will do all of the code for you. So you don't have to worry about coding anymore. Anyway, for this example, we're not going to worry about that. So we we'll stick to text. Now, after it's done all of that research, what I want is another agent to actually analyze all of that. Because what I'm looking for from that data is um, the coins that might be breaking out now, not just generally what's trended in the last 24 hours. So I basically drag this arrow to the next agent, double click on this. And again, on this one, we're doing, we can uh, click web search again, click add, text format is fine. And here, what we want it to do is analyze all that first research the first agent has done and now take it to another level. And now what I want it to do is review all of these and just see which potential coin has the most attention on social media right now. That's number one. And then number two, what might be breaking out in the last one hour or two hours. Now, this is from obviously a trading point of view. Please review all of the data and then um, find out for each particular trending coin how much attention there is on social media at the moment as attention can really drive prices higher. And also as a second step, research um, which particular coin is currently breaking out um, in the last one to four hours in terms of price breakout and the percentage it has broken out in that time frame. So I've just added that prompt there about the attention um, and also what's breaking out in the last one to four hours. And I've just labeled this appraised potential coins, just as an example. Now, if you click on more here at the bottom, you can mess about with temperature. And, you know, I, I would say at the beginning, especially if you're newer to AI, don't, don't worry about any of this stuff. This is just how creative this model might be. You want most of this stuff in this type of example for agents to be neutral, actually. Now, in the chat kit here, it says show search sources. I want that to stay on because if it has links to like coin market cap or something like that, I could just click on the link and then go analyze myself in more detail. So you can leave all these on, but if this chat gets too much, the first couple you can actually toggle off so it just gives you the output. Now, believe it or not, that's it. <laughs> that's literally an agent. An agent is nothing more than what we've kind of done here. So we have two agents here at work and this will make everything much more efficient for you. And you can test this and you can iterate it and improve it in terms of the prompt. So if you click on preview here and just get that running, you can see it's starting to do crypto research. You can see uh, live, it's searching the web. So it's showing you what it's doing. But remember, we can delete all of this later. Once we know what it's doing, we don't need to see this every single time. 
and it's looking at anything that's trending at the moment. So it's got the summary table of today's most trending, October 31st, Halloween, and it's got them listed here. And now the second agent's at work and I gave it those two instructions. So it's having a look at some of those that have the most attention because in the world of crypto, what, the coins that get attention tend to have uh, largest price movements. And what's handy is even at the bottom there, it's actually asked, do you want deeper technical charts, breakout setups, real time? Um, I'm just gonna say here, yes, g give me breakout setups. And if I find it's helpful, what it's given me there, I can add it as a workflow. So every day now, all I have to do is set this running and I don't have to spend minutes to hours every day doing all of this research myself online. And you could do the same type of analysis for anything online, um, whatever your field, whatever your business, for example, it could be related to social media, for example, if you want to analyze what's trending in terms of social media posts and help it uh, create a workflow where it will prepare social media posts for you. But the, the output is only as good as the input. Now, I've just given you a couple of examples here. But to make this really, really good, you'd have to play around with the prompts again and again until it gets you that really, really good output, which is exactly what you're looking for in particular. And when it's ready, you can publish it. You can name it and you click on publish. So I might call this one trending coins, click publish. And that's done. And by the way, the way you get, you know, code with this as well. So if you ever wanted to embed it on a website or anything like that, it's it's pretty easy to do. Quick mention of some of these other features. Uh, the main ones you might, might want to use is MCP, which is basically if you want it to interact with some other common tools like Gmail and stuff like that, you can absolutely do that. For example, if, if you wanted to get some of the output sent to you by uh, email, you could set that all up here or Google Drive, like a Google Sheet or something like that. Other one, guardrail. So this is basically where you, uh, let's say we toggled on jailbreak, that might be why you want to protect your workflow. Let's say you're sharing it publicly or something like that so people don't jailbreak um, that particular workflow. That's about it. By the way, if you found this video useful, make sure you subscribe because I'm gonna do a lot more videos like this. Thanks for listening.